Well, brand new information tonight about the role a Florida company played in taking down the man suspected of being the Golden State Killer. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us how the new DNA business's website cracked the decades old case. Suspected serial killer Joseph D'Angelo eluding capture for decades, finally taken down by an unsuspecting relative who uploaded their DNA to GetMatch.com. Investigators finding a family connection to D'Angelo's DNA, then meticulously working their way through his family tree. It's not surprising that they can do that. Kelsey Henschel Fay is a forensic anthropologist at USF. She does the same thing investigators did to track D'Angelo down, only her research identifies human remains. Is it possible that this is your guy? And she can only access law enforcement databases, but as more sites like GetMatch start up, it gives her hope. The longer it goes, with this person being unidentified, the more unlikely it is that they will be identified. GetMatch posting today, quote, they were not approached by law enforcement or anyone else about this case or about the DNA, then giving the disclaimer that their policy states the DNA can be used for other purposes, quote, including identification of relatives that have committed crimes or were victims of crimes. So this is my DNA profile. It says confidence extremely high. That is matching me to my twin brother. So even if I didn't give my DNA, they could probably track me down using his information. But the lab experts here say they wish they had access to this type of information. It would be very nice if we could do that. Be able to utilize more of the DNA databases and the, the genealogy to be able to try and track down who these unidentifieds are. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.